Hey y'all, I just noticed I didn't make an intro. Excuse my voice, I'm extremely sick right now, but I wanted to welcome y'all to my channel. Um, this video, I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of the Millennium Tour with B2K and all the other artists that I love. I also want you guys to check out Nikki's channel. She is awesome. I actually made a new friend. We went to the concert together and she and I have so much in common and I can totally see us being long-term like best friends. She is amazing. So. I want you guys to go check out her channel. If you guys don't already follow her, you guys are hiding or living underneath a rock. She is amazing. Her family, just just go watch them. She's awesome. But if you guys aren't already subscribed to my channel as well, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the like button for this video. I hope you guys like it. I'm also going to talk about the Chris Stokes and Raz B situation after I show you all some clips of the concert. I hope you all enjoy. Today's the day! Nobody can tell me shit today! Yes! All right, you guys, today is the B2K concert. Look how cute I look. I got my little um, shirt on with my velour pants and I have some Jordans on and I have a bandana because we used to do this back in the day. Matter of fact, this bandana that I have on right now, I took out of my little bin from like my stuff from high school along with my, this is my jacket. And you know, we used to wear the big hoofed earrings. I, I told Bryce, I said, do I look like I'm 15? He was like, no. <laughs> he said I could pass for 22, but Probably not, it's okay, I'm almost 30 y'all. Matter of fact, in like a few days I'm gonna be 30, but that's fine. Like, I'm about to relive my whole um, childhood, my whole high school life tonight, okay? It's going down, I'm so happy, nobody can tell me shit tonight, I'm excited. So, maybe I'll put some clips in here, but I'm excited. <laughs> It was, it was, I had the time of my life, y'all. I felt like I was 15 all over again. Um, that's the type of music that I listen to. I'm an R&B lover. I love, um, I will pick R&B over anything. So Donnell Jones, Avant, all of that, like that is my stuff. And when I was 15, B2K, you know, they were very popular along with Pretty Ricky, like my jam. So I was literally living like I was in high school again. It felt good just to let go. But I did, I was up the entire time, y'all, having the, t the time of my life. Y'all know I have a bad back, so I was bed bound the next day. <laughs> Cause you know, ooh, we had fun. But um, anyways, I know on the shade room they posted Rasby uh, leaving. He threw his mic and left the set. And I later found out today that he said that he did that because his mic wasn't working. So obviously I have my own opinions about how that should have been handled, especially when you are performing. Nobody would have noticed if the mic wasn't playing. Everything else was so loud, you could have just like faked it till you made it and then, you know, <laughs> at the end, went and cussed out the sound people. But <laughs> that doesn't even matter. Um, I initially thought that he was just pissed because you know there's a lot of tension I believe in the group. If you guys don't know, Rasby had made allegations regarding Chris Stokes, Marcus Houston, and all of that. Like 10 years ago, eight years ago, I forgot how many years ago. Anyways, I was younger at that time and um, I don't wanna say it wasn't a big deal but I didn't do my research. I was, I don't even know, I didn't even know everything that he was saying. 
but this concert for me made me research more things after the fact and like I just can't believe some of the stuff that I've seen about the allegations in my opinion I believe them a hundred percent but I'm gonna say like allegations because you know nothing has been proven in court but at the end of the day I think Chris Stokes is a pedophile and he you know molested Marcus Houston and Marcus Houston started doing the same stuff like that's just my opinion I believe that Raz B felt some type of way and still feels some type of way towards the members of his group because he did come out and speak his truth, but nobody was supporting him. Society wasn't supporting him. His group, AKA his brothers weren't supporting him as well. And he ended up airing out, you know, their stuff as well, their alleged stuff. So I feel like at that point, they're going to start blaming it on bipolar disorder, which y'all know that hits home for me. I don't think him being bipolar has anything to do with the stuff that he's saying about him speaking his truth. I think that it's a crock of shit that they even said that. I think they're embarrassed because that happened to them, which they have a hundred percent right to be embarrassed. My whole point with this is that I don't think it's fair that society only takes it serious when a woman is speaking out about being sexually assaulted, you know, raped and all that kind of stuff. It shouldn't, he was literally telling everybody very personal things, things that I think any straight man or even gay man, if it happened to them, would be ashamed of. It doesn't matter if you're straight or gay, anybody would be ashamed to say that somebody took advantage of them like that. But my point is, if a woman would have said something, we're not making this about white or black or Mexican, nothing like that. A woman said something, everybody would take it very seriously. I think it's bullshit that nobody took it seriously when he said something about it. And I know that he uh, retracted his statement, but I totally think it was due to intimidation and he is still trying to speak his truth. I feel bad for all the members of the group and I really hope Chris Stokes pays for what he has done. I believe in karma and I know it will come back to him, but I just think that we as a society need to take it more seriously when a man or a woman, when anybody speaks up, it needs to be taken seriously. This is like a huge problem. You know, the whole thing with Terry Crews when he came out about being, you know, sexually assaulted and all that people were making fun of him like is that funny it's not funny just because he's a bigger man means absolutely nothing somebody can intimidate you being super small they can make you feel uncomfortable being super small it is what it is nobody should make anybody feel like that when coming clean or even just saying something that had has happened to them it's bullshit and i just like it's it's just it really pissed me off when i watched those videos all you guys have to do is Type in YouTube and search like Rasby and Chris Stokes and you'll even see Rasby even confronted Chris Stokes and Chris Stokes was like, I'm not like that anymore. Of course it's going to be broken up. So I don't even know how true that video is. I don't know how true anything is. In my opinion, I believe that Rasby um, was molested by Chris Stokes. I believe that Chris Stokes totally pulled an R. Kelly. And when I say that, because you know, R. Kelly had people living in his house. Um, didn't really want them around family, didn't want them having friends, didn't want them talking to anybody. And Chris Stokes was the same exact way. He had Raz B living in his house, which AKA was his cousin at that time. Chris Stokes took over custody of Raz B because Raz B's mom was on drugs. And so he was in that environment all the time. The boys were over there all the time. From what I understand, Chris Stokes was kind of the initiator and he would kind of coach them on what to do to each other. And I just, he, he pulled an R. Kelly. They were young boys, except R. Kelly likes, you know, young girls. He likes, Chris Stokes, he likes the young boys. And he had them in a situation which was perfect for him to abuse them, allegedly. So let me say that. It's, I don't know y'all, it's bullshit. I just hope that we all start taking this seriously. But let's get off of that and let's, <laughs> because I don't wanna make this like a huge thing. I just kinda wanted to speak on it really quick look what came in today my bowls <laughs> so i have a bunch of different colored bowls and to me i just wanted like one set color so see all those in there i kind of want to like clean that out i also earlier in the video i showed you guys our coffee machine this thing has been a writer for like five years and this one probably like four years like it's it's done it's it's just done so while I was resting my back again today with my old ass, I uh, ordered a new coffee machine and our coffee machine has a full size um, 
coffee pot and then it has a I think it's a K cup side so that'll be cool and then I ordered our new toaster actually has four things on it okay so I can toast four things at once so I'm excited about that I don't know what else it is I have to I've been buying things for the house like every day so I bought, you know, these, these, I got rid of all of our plastic ones. I'm just kind of like upgrading a lot of things. And, ooh, Bath and Body Works is having their flash sale tonight. By the time y'all see this, it's already to be over. But the candles are only $10 and it's for three hours. So I already created my cart. I'm going to get like five candles because I already have four in my closet. I like to stock up when they have sales because I'm not paying $24 for a candle. Not going to happen. So yeah, and right now I'm making um, my spaghetti. I'm still doing Weight Watchers. I had, y'all, I had a soda at the freaking concert. And I had a soda because soda will make me hyper. And I didn't want to drink. So I don't really like drinking anyways. I'll drink once in a great while. But I had a soda and that helped a lot. But it made me feel bloated. Like, ugh, I don't even drink soda. So I don't know who the hell I thought I was. But yeah i hope y'all are just doing your thing on this fine monday we we got we got boxes let me show you our little boxes we've already started packing and there are more boxes as well but that's just a little bit of what's going on but our garage is full of boxes too so i'll be coming home this week packing and packing okay i'm gonna take y'all with us though don't even worry